Hey guys, in this video I want to show you six very helpful Android Studio shortcuts that will make you more productive. Now Android Studio has a ton of different shortcuts and a lot of them are very helpful. But I think there's no point in trying to implement 20 of them at the same time. So take a look at these six, try to implement them if you haven't yet and then you can still add more later. Also make sure to check out my live templates video which is also a very helpful Android Studio feature. You can find a link to this video when you click on the little eye in the top right corner of this video. Okay, if you take a look at the code here, you can see that the formatting is really messy. And most of you probably already know the first shortcut. When we press Ctrl Alt L, we reformat the code. Which is very helpful because this way we don't have to pay attention to the formatting when we write the code. The second shortcut I want to show you is Shift and F10 to build and run the app. It automatically opens this emulator window and now I only have to press enter to actually start the emulator. This way you don't have to press this play button every time you want to run the app and it's much quicker. Okay, the next shortcut gets rid of a really annoying problem. Here we call this wrong method on this example object. And let's say instead I want to call right method on it. Now when I press enter this happens. We still have this wrong method behind it which is really annoying. But instead of pressing enter we can also press tab which automatically overrides this other method. The same works for example when we get another name here suggested, we can press tab as well. The next two shortcuts help you select text in multiple rows at once. Let's go up here where we set our variables and let's say I want to select int in all these three rows but I don't want to select the string keyword here. For this I press alt and j and then I press it again for each row I want to select. And now I can change all these int keywords at once, like this. Of course this also works for variable names. If I want to change number one in all three rows at once, I can do this. Or I can select this private keyword here for example. It always selects the next appearance of the same word. Now if you want to select multiple rows at once, no matter what's the text in there, you can also press Alt and then click and track your mouse like this. And now I can change this. And with the next shortcut we can change variable and method names and automatically change them wherever they appear in the code. For example I want to change number 2 but I don't want to go through each appearance of this number 2 variable one by one. Instead I click on number 2, press shift F6 and now this is selected like this. And now I can change this variable name and it automatically changes it down here as well. When I'm done with this I press enter and of course I can also use this for method names. Okay, if this was helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more Android tutorials and Android Studio tips and tricks. Take care.